Hello everyone, I'm Riz Ortega from Error Intervention, and today I have the absolute pressure to interview Professor Jean-Michel Paradis from the uh, Quebec Heart and Lung Institute in Canada. Uh, Professor Paradis has uh, published recently in Error Intervention and presented simultaneously in EuroPCR 2024. Uh, a very interesting uh, study, a first man study about a new uh, device for sinus reducers. Uh, Professor Paradis, it's a pleasure to have you here. And I will invite you, if you can please uh, wrap uh, an overview of your study in means of the rationale, the design, and the main results that you have. Thank you, Louis, for, for having me. So it's a pleasure for me to, to be here to discuss our our, our manuscript. In fact, it was a, a first in men publications. So within this manuscript, we, we uh, reported uh, the first in men case with the novel coronary sinus reducer device, which is called the Aflux device. So the patients that, that the patient that we treated was a 67 year old male with a past medical history of um, severe coronary artery disease. The patient had a prior coronary artery bypass graft surgery in uh, 2000. And the patient had been suffering from severe refractory angina since 2015. Uh, the patient had a, a, a recent coronary angiogram uh, during which we, we, we saw that the patient had now occluded saphenous vein grafts and two new uh, LED lesions. Uh, so the patient was deemed a non uh, not a good candidate for, for PCI, and the patient was having severe angina uh, despite uh, taking uh, beta blockers, nitrates, calcium channel blockers, and renolazine. So we decided to consider uh, coronary sinus reduction therapy for this patient. He was not a candidate for the COSERA-2 trial, so uh, we, uh, mm -hmm. we considered doing this new device, the A-flux device for this patient. The procedure was authorized by Health Canada uh, and the patient obviously signed an informed consent for the procedure. So, so the procedure was done on, under conscious uh, sedation in, in the CAT lab. It, it is a procedure that is done uh, that was done through uh, uh, the right jugular vein. And... Uh, the A-flux is, is a, a self-expendable uh, nitinol device, uh, which is delivered through a 10 French delivery system. Uh, the procedure uh, went very well. We have actually uh, four sizes available for this device, nine millimeter, 11, 13, and 15 millimeters. And the, the size that we selected for this patient was a nine millimeter device. Uh, we sized the device according to IVIS measurements and floral measurements that we uh, performed during the case. Our goal was to aim for about 20 to 30 percent oversizing. So a nine millimeter device was, was, uh, was used for this specific patient. So the device is, as I mentioned, a device made, made of nitinol a dense nitinol mesh, and it has the property to immediately uh, divert the blood flow uh, within the, the three millimeter waist of the device. So uh, that is a, a, an interesting feature. The other interesting features of this device is that it is rep repositionable and recapturable. So, uh, the procedure uh, took about an hour and a half, and then the patient uh, went home the day after the procedure. Uh, we now have uh, up to six months of, of, of follow-up, and the patient is doing very well. He, he is in class uh, one of a, he's in a CCS class one, and he has not uh, used his nitro spray since the procedure. So he has seen a significant improvement in his quality of life. It's, it's very interesting, very interesting. We are aware that there are other devices. You already mentioned a couple of the differences of these devices, yeah. the Corsair and Aflux. So it seems like Aflux is kind of an evolute and, and, and uh, <laughs> it's kind of 
stop your mouth, no? Yeah, that that's a good point. That's a good point. So the other available device is the the reducer, which is a balloon expandable device, and uh, the 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 novel device, the the A flux device, is a new generation device. Uh, is, is the the device is self expandable. It, it's made of nitinol. It's repositionable, recapturable. And the the other thing is that uh, the 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 retrieval of the nose cone is very simple due to the the, the shape of the, of the device and the way the device is 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 mounted. Okay, that that's great. And I, I, we know that there is uh, that there are some cases of lost uh, devices with the uh, with the first uh, reducer. That have been reported in literature, so it's very interesting to have two two different options. And uh, one one of the things that it comes, uh, you know, to my mind is that uh, in discussions that we have about this topic is how this technology can change prognosis or can be used for treated patients with microvascular angina because some of these patients they have untreatable angina or refractory angina. So do you have experience on that sense? As of right now, no, but it's it's a very good question and it's very interesting because Vatica, the com the company that makes the uh, the A flux uh, reducer, is planning to start uh is it, it's a first clinical study which is called the Sara One trial, and the study will look at patients with microvascular disease and the, the impact of, of afflux on patients with microvascular disease. So the study is supposed to start uh, later this year uh, or at the beginning of next year. It will be a, a multi-center perspective uh, a study. And, and, and I'm, I really, I'm really looking forward to the, to, uh, to the results of, of this very important and, and interesting uh, trial. Okay, that's great. And uh, one of the, because, you know, for, for us, it's, it's, a, it's a different experience because usually, you know, we have never done a, a, an audio video, an interview for a case. Uh, and it's something new for us, but uh, very interesting because it's a, it's a breakthrough technology. Uh, mm -hmm. I, you know, but the, the, the question becomes, you know, if you have more patients uh, treated with this device, uh, uh, you already mentioned one of the, uh, you know, the, research line that the, that the company and, and your group may have anything else more patients treated more studies coming can you elaborate on that yeah absolutely so as of today seven patients have been treated with the aflux device uh all the patients have been treated under compassionate use in four centers in canada and in spain and all the, the patients are doing well and all the patients that have been treated have seen improvement in their uh, angina burden. So it's very promising. It's very, uh, I'm really looking forward to the future of this technology, to see the future of this technology. Okay, that's great. When, when you have a, a, you know, a core of patients, you can, you, you can send us the manuscript and we will be very happy to. <laughs> Uh, Professor Paradis has been a pleasure. Thank you for, for, for your insights about this new technology. Uh, for all the colleagues uh, out there, uh, just keep in tune with us in our intervention, PCR Online. It's a pleasure to deliver you the best uh, uh, publications that we have in our journal. Thank you. Thank you, Luis.